Hello again, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop. And as always, it's your friend, Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today is show you how to create light trails in Photoshop. As you can see, you have this image here of this car racing down the motorway. And what I've done is apply some light trails on it just to give it a more of a dynamic, powerful feel to the actual image. And what I'd like to do is show you how to create this type of style within Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get rid of these original layers here and start off with our original image. Now, what you'd need to do is go and find an image of some light trails um, uh, from the internet. I've already downloaded some, so I'm gonna come here and go to File, Place Embedded. And I'm gonna say Place, okay? Now, it's actually facing the wrong way, so I'm gonna now gonna go right click and if I scroll down to the bottom here, I have the option to flip horizontal. Wonderful. Now I'm happy with how it looks. I'm going to press enter. Now what I need to do is manipulate it and, and position it to make it sort of suit the, the direction of how the car is uh, driving. So I'm just going to just quickly, with that layer highlighted, just affect the opacity like so, just to see what I can do and where I am. If I now press Control T, just going to come through now and give it a little bit of a rotation. Control T is the shortcut on um, Windows, and it's Command T on Mac to get your transforming options open. Okay, so pretty happy with the positioning there, to be fair. But what I need to do is now, is I'm going to bring up the opacity, is distort this a little bit. And with our Command T or Control T uh, shortcut still live, what I'm now going to do is right-click on the image, and I have the option now to distort. Okay. I'm just going to come through now and just give it a little bit of a distortion here. Let's make sure we take it off the page like so. There we go. Set a little bit down there. What I'm doing is clicking and dragging with these anchor points like so. Wonderful. I'm very happy with the positioning now. Now, what I need to do is blend these images together. So when I come to my blending mode, and the blending mode that I'll be using will be Lighten. As you can see, you've created it quite nicely. We just need to do some on the other side of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the layer, which is the shortcut Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. And using my Move tool, just going to position that over here a little bit. So around sort of like that way. Yeah, again, I'm going to use a shortcut Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows, get a little bit of a rotation there. Like so maybe go right click a bit of distortion as well again. Just so we place it like so, get it to the right position. Okay, so as you can see here, it looks a little bit unrealistic and obviously it's overlapping on the car here. So to the, the light trail layers, what I'm going to be applying is a layer mask. So when I come through here, let's apply a layer mask to that. Wonderful. And a layer mask to this also as well. Now using the brush, shortcut for it is the letter B. I'm going to use, make sure that I have a soft round brush here. So I want to let's give it a softer look. Make sure that I'm uh, using the black as my foreground color. And with the um, layer mask highlighted, I'm just going to come over to here and just blend this in a little bit more realistically, as you can see. There we go. And then we come to our top one here. And we just need to remove this section here. Like so. Maybe a little bit there as well. Okay. And there you have it, guys. That's how you realistically create light trials with Adobe Photoshop. If you're interested in finding, finding out more about the school, Please take, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk and have a great week and a great graphic design and uh, I hope you create some amazing stuff, guys. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you next time.